What's up, Wildfire? It's Coach Damien here. It's Wednesday. We got a great workout for you. It's the middle of the week, but it's going to be fun. All right. So starting off for our warm-up, we're going to have one minute in each position. So we will begin with our hollow holds. Really, like we focused on a couple weeks ago, is getting that core engaged, really squeezing our glutes and getting this core nice and tucked into the ground and keeping these legs active when we're in this hollow position. Right in this first minute, you start shaking so that core is getting activated. Right, hold that for as much as you can for that minute. All right, straight over into the next minute, we're going into Superman's. Now, what I really want you focusing on on these movements is keeping this plane nice and active. Shoulders, glutes are squeezed, core is engaged. Holding this for that whole minute. Cool. This is going to translate over to you have the bar. Right, we're going into kip swings. From here, you're going off this bar. Right, I have this nice hollow position into that Superman. When we go back in those transitions, it builds that kip. Right, if you don't have a bar, you do the same thing on the ground. Next, in the following minute, you're doing reverse curl into press. So working on those forearms, keeping those lats nice and engaged. Pinch those lats as we pull from here, punch up to the ceiling. When we're coming back down, I want you to think engaged lats, focused reverse curl back down. Okay, going for that whole minute, back and forth. If you do not have a bar, you can go off a bench. And here we're just focusing on that lats, get that squeeze, and push right through for that minute to get warmed up, followed with a minute of front squats. Right in that front rack position, right down for that minute to get those legs nice and warmed up. No barbell, you'll just go through with some air squats. Okay? Once you finish that minute of each, we're gonna go through one more time for 30 seconds. Okay? Now on to our skill progression. Ready? All right, guys, so today for strength, we're gonna be working 10 minutes. It's gonna be basically bar muscle up progression. Now I'm gonna show you how this is gonna work and then how we're gonna scale it back and work the progressions to get you there, right? When you're doing a bar muscle up, you have that hollow kip swing and when you push through, we're getting those lats engaged and pushing over the bar, right? So we're going through, see that transition of I'm pushing down on the bar as I'm lifting over the bar. I'll do a second one, I have that hollow man pushing into that bar as I'm going through that muscle up. Okay, so how we're doing this, we're gonna scale this back. You're gonna have the box set up at the highest position that you can from here. And what we're working on is getting these elbows fast. As you notice, I had that transition through of these arms rotate through, those elbows flip over, okay? Starting off, we're gonna be at the highest. We're working that, this is your Superman, right? We got that core engaged, keeping those feet nice together going into that hollow up position. Right from here, I'm really engaging my lats and pushing down on this bar as my arms are gonna flip over to the top and push through, okay? You're working that same movement on the way back down. I'm pushing away, hollow, Superman through, and pushing to the top, okay? This is a little bit of an easier scale because I'm using a lot of that jump and you wanna create this momentum with your kip, okay? Once we go through that, we're gonna gradually build this down and go into the 24 or a shorter distance. And now we have to use a lot more of our lats engaged from here, getting that swing through, hollow position, lats engage, push at the top on the way back down, use that momentum, drive through and back to the top. Okay, you're gonna keep working this progression down we're gonna do this for like 10 minutes or so, building on that form and technique, engaging that core, getting that hollow position. So the body weight version to work this core engagement and really get this explosiveness is we're gonna do the same 10 alternating imams, but we're starting off with 10 hollow holds for three seconds. So getting those nut arms nice and engaged, if you have like a broomstick or a PVC pipe, work the same similar motion, right? We're engaging our core, squeezing our glutes, Get in there for three seconds and back down for 10. In the next minute, you're gonna turn over, use that same PVC pipe. Our demo is getting that engaged, 
Superman position, like I was on the bar, squeeze right through, get that head through the window as you're holding for the three seconds. On the last minute, you're doing 10 burpees, just getting up as explosive as possible, pop those hips, and right up in that last minute. Cool? Hopefully this progression is going to help you get to that new bar muscle up to your first rep for the workout. All right. So now for your wad. All right. It's going to be four time. It's going to be a chipper style. You have 50 calorie rows. If you have a rower, then you have 40 front squats with your bar. You're going to clean that bar up into that front rack position. You have the RX weight is 135 and 95 getting right through, it is 40, so it's going to be a high rep, right? If you have to dump that bar, just remember you can squat clean that next rep, okay? From there, we have 30 toes to bar, kicking right up, getting that swing into your 30 toes to bar, and then you're going back to your bar for 20 push jerks, cleaning that bar up, same weight, dip, Punch under that bar, like so. Now it comes game time for that muscle up progression. You have 10 bar muscle ups right in, right afterwards. Get up, pushing down, working all that technique that you just got through. Cool? Now, if you do not have a rower, your body weight version will be 50 sumo high pulls, but bring those feet in a little bit closer, simulating that row technique. The feet are in, pulling right through, getting that nice leg bend up to the top. Or if you don't have weight, you could do mule kicks, really focusing on that kick up on the engaging part. All right? For your 40, you'll have 40 front squats with that same kettlebell, like so, kind of like a goblet squat, or high jump squats. So now we're working on that explosiveness down and right up for 40. Next, into those 30 V-ups. If we don't have a bar, getting that core nice and gauge, kick right up for 30. Same thing with that push jerk. If you have that kettlebell, dip, punch right up. Or we'll do 20 push-ups right down, right up. Be as explosive as you can do these because a push trick is an explosive movement. Same thing when we get to those last 10 bar muscle ups is we'll do 10 burpees right through and right up. If you want to make it a little bit spicier and do have a dumbbell, you could add a bent over row on each side to make it a little bit more challenging. Cool. Have fun with this workout. I'll see you next time.